say, Norm, uh, I, I was looking through your personnel file, uh, and it, it seems that you've listed me as uh, your next of kin. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. I've also named you beneficiary, so that's in, in case I die, a, a cloud of suspicion will settle upon you, sir. <laughs> Look, the whole file, it's a, it's a mess. You have to redo it. You have to redo it right now, Norm. You know, you may have been sentenced here to community service, but you, really, you have to follow the rules, Norm. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, I'll do it right now. In case of emergency, please call uh, a fireman. Hi, so, uh, my sister get here yet? No, not no, yet. No, no, because she was supposed to have been here by now. Calm but... down, Laurie. I'm sure we'd recognize your identical twin. Oh, here she is. Here she is, Laurie. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> it must be like looking in the mirror for you when you That's look at it. <laughs> very, very, very funny, Norm. I'm sorry about that, Steve. I mean Princess Fabulous. <laughs> Laurie, it must be. It must be neat. Having a twin? Do you have that thing where you can feel what the other one's feeling? Yeah, but we kind of mostly just used it to torture each other, you know. Like, if I'd go to sleepaway camp, she'd stick her hand in a bowl of warm water. But... <laughs> I knew how to get even with her, though. When she was having her senior class picture taken, I jammed a letter opener into my thigh. <laughs> Didn't work that time. <laughs> Hey, uh, Taylor? Yeah? Uh, remember the other night when I uh, told you I was crazy about you and asked you out? Yeah, Dan. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, oh, good. I was hoping you're still thinking about it. And uh, once again, thank you for your consideration. <laughs> hey, uh, way to play it cool there, Hef. <laughs> Lay off. This is hard enough as it is. I know it is, buddy. I want to help you the best I can. Uh... Oh, hey, uh, Taylor, listen, uh, let me tell you something. If I weren't straight, I'd like to get a piece of this. Xerox delivery for Lori Friedman. Jamie! Oh, Jamie, you look great. How you doing? Oh, it's been crazy. Ever since they bought me to vice president, I've been trying to decorate this huge office they gave me. You know what that's like. Or maybe you don't. <laughs> Well, it's amazing how fast you've climbed the corporate ladder, Jamie. You're just, you're, you're a regular fellatio Alger story. <laughs> you're so funny. You were always the funny one. No, I'm not. Yes, you were. Mom and Dad used to always say, at least Lori's funny. <laughs> yeah, like they always used to tell me, at least Jamie's not pregnant. <laughs> Hey, Lori, aren't you going to introduce me? Yeah, Norm, this is Jamie. Jamie, this is Norm. Oh, hey. I've always said that everybody has a twin somewhere in the world. This proves my theory. <laughs> and that's Norm. So, Jamie's got to get on a plane back to Chicago in about four hours. We're going to go have some lunch. Oh, okay. Have a good lunch. Well, this will be fun. I'll be able to tell you about who I've been seeing. And you can tell me all about your newest cat. <laughs> See, you have this image of me left over from high school, but things are very different now, Jamie. I, I actually have a very healthy social life. Oh, really? Seeing anyone serious? As a matter of fact, I am. I happen to be seeing uh, that man right over there, the one with the beard. <laughs> the transmit. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> So you've got a steady boyfriend. Congratulations. I just want to tell you one thing. The first time, it's going to hurt a little. <laughs> wow, is that Lori's sister? Yeah, yeah. She looks just like Lori, except she's hot. <laughs> not that Lori's not hot. It's just that I respect Lori, and that kind of wrecks it, you know. <laughs> Stay away from her, Norm. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of issues between those sisters, and you don't want to get in the middle of that. Man, it would be disrespectful to date Lori's sister. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Of course you will. That's what you do. <laughs> hey, I don't like the sound of that. What are you getting at? I'm, I'm saying you do stupid things all the time. <laughs> all right, then. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face.
Good night, Taylor. Yes. Yes what? <laughs> yes, I'll go out with you. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> Okay, well, now uh, all you have to do is wait for my decision. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, it's my decision, too. Yeah. Isn't it great when things work out like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. Taylor said yes, huh? Yes! <laughs> I can't believe it! She's so far out of my league! Uh, listen, Danny, I'm getting tired of this talk. Let me tell you something. Taylor is lucky to be going out with you. What? I can't say that twice with a straight face, but... Hey, Nora. Oh, hey, Lori. I thought you were gonna... Hey, you're not Lori. You're the hot one. Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, Lori took me to the airport, and then I missed my flight. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just screwing with my boss. Whoever keeps putting this chair in my office, if you would kindly disagree. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, what the? Who did this? Norm? It's you, isn't it? Uh, it's you. You're, you're the one making, making, making that chair chase me around the office? Listen, I got four words for you, sir. Lay off the hash. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you did it. I'm not amused, Norm. Neither was I amused at my new subscription to He Bitch magazine. That was fun. Oh, my God. Wait till tomorrow. I'm going to have the corpse of his dead cat chase him around the office. <laughs> oh, I love doing stuff like that. I bet Lori told you I was no fun at all, didn't she? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes we say mean things about each other. But it's just that competitive thing about being a twin, you know? We never really got past that. Could you do me a favor, Norm? Could you come over to Lori's house with me tonight? And every time we're alone together, we just end up arguing. It would really help if somebody else was there. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to get no, in between no. two twin sisters, you know? Maybe you have a heated discussion, start getting in a fight. Maybe, you know, get your shirt ripped. All right, let's go. We'll go. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe Lori's not home yet. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I just remember. Oh, Lori's in Albany until tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe we can do this another time, then. Well, I don't want to be alone, Norm. Couldn't you stick around, keep me company just for a little bit? We could sit around, watch TV, have a beer. TV? <laughs> or maybe we could think of something more fun than watching TV. Oh, uh, I know what you're thinking. Taffy apples? <laughs> Well, that depends. What are we wearing while we're making them? <laughs> well, not these clothes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll run home. I have some smocks that I use for baking and craft. Now, you know I'm not talking about taffy apples, right? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, of course. Am I talking about smocks, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just pretending. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got me. I was just pretending, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been my experience that women love a dumb guy. You know? <laughs> no, Jamie, Jamie, I, I can't do this to oh, Lori. I know, it's so wrong, Norm. I can't help myself. I know. Damn this musky man scent oh, of mine. No, no. Norm, this is one of those things where if you don't do this right now, tonight, you're going to wonder what it could have been like the rest of your life. Oh, my God, you're right. I'm wondering already. This is awful. It's like torture. If there's only some way I could go back in time and make this right. Over here, Norm. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what if Lori finds out? Lori's never going to find out. With, with Taylor tonight. I've been calling you all night long for dating advice. Where have you been? Oh, well, you remember when I said I wasn't going to do anything stupid and you said I always do something stupid? Yeah. Well, it turned out you were right. God, you had sex with Jamie. What were you thinking? Yeah, well, Lori's not going to find out, all right? And uh, besides, uh, Jamie and I had this, this great connection, you know? She said that she never felt like this with any other dude ever before. 
Hi. Oh, hi, Lori. How was, uh, how was your trip? Crazy. I haven't even been home yet. I mean, the conference went great, but I couldn't sleep all night because I had this weird dream. I was, I was having sex with some bony high school kid who didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jamie. Jamie, what are you doing here? Hi, Norm. Lori, I missed my flight last night, so I crashed at your place, and I just dropped in to say goodbye. Do you mind if I use your phone for a second? Uh, yeah, why don't you use the phone in the counseling room? Norm, there's something I gotta tell you. Yesterday at lunch, Jamie was going on about dating, and I panicked, and I told her that you were my boyfriend. You what? Yeah, I'm sorry I picked you. It was you were homeless Bob, and he was eating a bug out of his beard. <laughs> So, you mean she's been thinking that, that I'm your boyfriend? Yeah, I, I'm sorry I lied. Listen, I'll be right back. I gotta get these Albany reports into Mr. Denby. Okay, well, my plane's on time, so I guess I'm taking off. Yeah, well, uh, you can't leave this office because giant rabbits have invaded New York City. What? Ha! <laughs> How does it feel like to be tricked? What are you talking about? I'm not Lori's boyfriend. You're not. And I think you tricked me into having sex with you only because you thought I was Lori's boyfriend. Well, yeah. <laughs> How could you do this to me, Jamie? I mean, thanks, and in the future I'm gonna use this angle on other competitive sisters, but how could you do this to me? What are you two arguing about? Huh? Well, uh, she disagrees, but I say that they have the flying cars. They're just not giving them to us. <laughs> I'm getting a really weird vibe between you two. Oh, my God, the dream. Did you two sleep together? Yes, Lori, I had sex with Norm. And now I've got my eye on that old guy that runs the place. Oh, no, I think, I think, I think Lori's sister has a crush on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know, I'm being silly. I know you two didn't sleep together. Oh, that's all right, sis. Look, I've got to go, so... Mm. Bye, Norm. Uh, I'm sorry I was so paranoid. I trust you, but you gotta understand, in high school, she slept with all the guys I ever knew. See, and get this, she'd never tell me to my face. She'd always leave a note. I know, what? That's crazy. That's my sister. Well, these reports are gonna keep me here till midnight. go over to Lori's. Why? Because I think her freaky sister left her a note. Let me tell you something, man. For once, I would like to do something really bad and not get punished for it. <laughs> this isn't all I have planned for tonight. Uh, after dinner, we're gonna go see the opera at Lincoln Center. Oh, wow, that's great. Those tickets are impossible to get. They are? <laughs> hey, guys. This is great, I don't have to eat alone. Uh, well, actually, Artie, we're, we're on kind of a date here. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> no, seriously, Artie, we're on a date. Look, if you want me to leave, you could just say so. You don't have to make up some crazy lie. <laughs> Why do you find this so hard to believe, Artie? <laughs> uh, I guess you really are on a date. I'm sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. Is Danny dying? <laughs> I'm gonna go home and shave my head. <laughs> so how do you think the date's going so far? Because if I'm doing anything wrong, I'd like to know. That way I can make an adjustment during the course of the date. For instance, if what I'm saying right now is really unnecessary, you can let me know by nodding your head what you're doing and I'm stopping. <laughs> Danny, would you please relax? I'm having a nice time and I'm out with you because I want to be out with you. Hey there, Brittany. Brittany, it's me, Gary. Brittany? Look, I don't go by the name Brittany anymore, and I'm on a date here, so would you please excuse us? Oh, a date. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, can I get your beeper number? I lost it, and I could really use a quick date, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, excuse me, she doesn't do that anymore, and uh, would you please just leave us alone? Hey, hey, I'm talking to the hooker. Listen, my car's parked out back, and maybe we can... <laughs> Are you impressed or horrified? Impressed. <laughs> Definitely impressed. 
Oh my god, I need a tranquilizer. I haven't hit anyone since high school, and that was with my mom's car. Danny, that's the sweetest thing anybody's ever done for me. I was pretty tough, wasn't I? You were so brave and tough. Oh. He's getting up quick, run! <laughs> Hi, Norm. Jamie. Jamie, what are you doing here? I missed my flight again. Good Lord, woman. Man, if Buddy Holly had missed as many flights as you, he'd still be alive. No, Norm, the truth is I just decided to stick around because I realized how much I wanted to see you again. All right, um, hold on those shenanigans there, slutty McGee. Oh, Norm. Norm, come on. I can't help myself. You're just so cute. And wasn't last night amazing? No, last night it was a mistake. We should never have had sex. <gasps> God, Jamie, when you take your wig off, you'll look just like your sister, Lori. I am Lori, you moron! Oh, God, oh. Norm, my God, why, why would you lie to me at the office today? Uh, Lori, you gotta understand, when somebody asks you if you had sex with their sister, you just say no, you know? <laughs> Especially if you've had sex with their sister. Well, great, so... Jamie did it to me again. Yeah, listen, Laurie, I'm really sorry. I don't know. I just don't get it. What is this thing that she has? Why do men fall for it? Is it the skimpy outfits and the way that she just throws herself at guys? Or is there some deeper reason that I just don't understand? No, you understand perfectly. There's no deeper meaning. <laughs> so you had sex with my sister because you're like all the other guys? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You know, I mean, there's, there's no other re reason, you know, unless... Uh... No, no, that's it. That's Oh, you were thinking something. No, I wasn't thinking anything. I was just holding in a burp. No, you were thinking something, Norm. I want to know why. No, I, I want don't you want to tell me why. It. I just want to hear no, it. That's go. all. Norm, tell uh, me why. All right, I guess maybe I was curious about you a, a little bit. What? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I slept with your sister because I, I wanted to know what it'd be like to sleep with you. Well, that's just I don't. I, <laughs> me? <laughs> Yeah, and don't take it the wrong way, Laura. You know, every man uh, wonders what it would be like to sleep with every woman that he works with, you know. God says that it's a sin not to, actually. So, so have you thought about robbing the copy girl? No. Um, what about Mary and purchasing? No. How about Taylor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody thinks about Taylor, you know. I mean, you even thought about Taylor, I'm sure. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I just, but just to get this straight, so, so you haven't thought about all of the women at the office, but you have thought about me. Yeah, yeah, and Taylor. <laughs> Sometimes you and Taylor. <laughs> But come on, you know, don't tell me you've never thought about me that way. No, I never have. I asked you not to tell me that. <laughs> well, okay, I did. I have thought about you. <laughs> there was this time when you came in the office and you had the leather jacket on, you were wearing those jeans and you hadn't shaved, and I was like, oh my God, I maybe... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> so anyway, so you thought about me in that way and I thought about you, so... Uh... Uh, the way I see it, we have two choices now. We can either go in the bedroom there, knock one out, and settle this once and for all. <laughs> or we can just pretend this never happened and, you know, play Scrabble or something. Scrabble. 
travel. Excellent. All right. <laughs> I have my lucky Scrabble boxer shorts on. Good. Uh, well, good night. Good night. <laughs> Truth is, I'm, I'm waiting for a signal. How's this for a signal? Mm, 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 mm. I, I said waiting for a signal. I, I, I wasn't ready for that. I, I can do much better. <laughs> Good night, Danny. Good night. Good night, Danny. Good night. <laughs>